Hello everybody, XGPX Travel here and welcome to another Gaming Pants video. In this little mini series of videos we're going to be taking a look at the first Shrek map pack on Call of Duty Black Ops that came out a little bit ago now. And uh, this was actually filmed on the day, I was there, just waiting for it and uh, I'm just playing combat training so don't be in the comments like, you're playing combat training you noob. Because I know, I just wanted to check the maps out before going online. Okay, so first of all, we are looking at Berlin Wall, and the first thing that strikes strikes me about the uh, first strike, uh, and this map especially, the uh, Treyarch mentioned it. These long sight lines are really good for snipers, and it creates uh, it feels very different to maybe uh, Kowloon or Stadium. And here, I'm just testing the uh, auto turrets, which are pretty. See, I thought the auto turrets wouldn't be as deadly as they are. If you aren't running as fast as possible for whatever reason, you are screwed in this. So uh, the auto turrets, uh, I don't, I don't know. I don't think they worked out quite how they're intended. Uh, I get killed by the AI. How embarrassing when I recruit, um, which is why it makes me look good. Because then they make me look bad and they kill me. Um, spawn point wise, I mean this is just my second spawn. Obviously, it's pretty standard. I switch with my team. Um, it is a big map, and really, the, like I said, the emphasis is on these long sight lines, very long streets. Um, the buildings don't work quite like uh, Revolution or uh, that other one. I forgot what it's called on Call of Duty Five with the big Arc de Triomphe, which is which is the wrong arc. It's someone in the Brandenburg Gate in Germany. Uh, that map, I think that's it, right? Oh, but whatever. Uh, where the emphasis on the buildings was, you move between these buildings if you were going to be with your close quarter weaponry, and uh, if you wanted to stick to the long sight lines, you'd be at the corner buildings, peeking out the windows, taking some long sniping shots. And I just gotta have a sip of milk here. <clears throat> and I just pwned that guy. Bot thing. Um, it is, whoa. It is quite. It can even get quite frantic, I mean, for a big map, uh, and it is a very well-made map, I have to say. And another thing that, is, that strikes me about all of these maps, and especially is the art on the maps. Um, I think that's overlooked by a lot of Call of Duty players, because they're more just about the gameplay. But for me, I, I do appreciate art, especially in video games. And th this one, really, I, it really has this very cold, uh, cold war, Eastern Germany feel to it, and... I don't know, I, I think it works really well with the game, of Black Ops itself, and the other maps uh, are quite different to that. Uh, maybe I'll get a cameo in video. Um, I just wish we were assault rifle here, actually, um, because this is one of those maps where SMGs, shotguns, nah, I think I'll stick with a sniper or an assault rifle on this. Just to take some long shots across the, the uh, dead man zone. Is something that is going to be quite a tactic, and I can see, especially on a S and D game type, some s killing at the spawn. I know I've not played Search and Destroy on this, so I don't know if it's a problem, but I could see that being a little bit of an issue for spawn sniping. Maybe, maybe not. Um, I don't really play Search and Destroy, probably for that reason, because I think it's all like that. Um, these, uh, I'll talk again about the uh, the buildings and. Actually, let's talk about the shape of the map, because the map it feels very smooth running around this map. Although, the Dead Man Zone I, is a very interesting inclusion in this map, because it really... You have to think a bit more. It's not like, oh, I'm just going to run around the outside of the map. It's, you know, something that everybody will tell you from c Nanas to some random kid. <laughs> what? But, uh, I should do a bit of camping here, because I saw it was working quite well for some of the AI. And, uh, I cannot get that guy. Uh, you can see just over there where I was just looking is one side of the map that spawn, which I do like that spawn. It's it's got kind of this little back area that isn't used so much. There's a lot of them on Call of Duty maps, on Modern Warfare 2, on that uh, I forgot what the map's called, is it in Invasion or something, maybe, where there's the U.S. base and there's like the road with the Humvees and again more lots of and I'm stupid because I didn't really understand the Dead Man Zone. Um, but uh, they have these little areas where, yeah, not many people are there, but it can be an interesting spot. Um, it especially comes to life when you're playing custom things, like if you're playing Mike Myers or Cops and Robbers and stuff, they can be interesting spots to explore, and 
Uh, I think it's good that uh, the developers, uh, Treyarch and Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer and anyone else like Activision decide to get in on it. Uh, should always think about those because okay, they're not going to be the most memorable features, but if you get, you can find, maybe put some Easter eggs in like they do with the zombie maps. Uh, and I, I love Dissension. I absolutely love Dissension. Oh, I'm sorry, I had to drop shot a bot. That feels bad. Drop shot. This area here where I am, there's quite a bit of space, um, but it's more open than the on the other side. There is some low cover. That I don't know. Maybe interesting sniper battles. That's for sure. Uh, I'd love to try this in a tactical setting, playing uh, my tactical deathmatch uh, game that I made, which is available in my file share now. Uh, look at that, shameless. And then, um, as you see, the close range weapon already is proving rather ineffective in th this area. So, uh, and hey, look, I didn't know you could go through there. It turns out you can. Um, and I, I didn't mean to call this uh, this. Huey, this uh, chop gunner in actually. I was supposed to call my blackbird, but I got a kill. So uh, I like to I like to have this on so you can see the the map from this point of view. Uh, this is quite this is a good map for chopper gunner. I mean, there's some maps where you think I am not going to bother with a chopper gunner. Uh, I, 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 I things like I think of Modern Warfare 2. Some maps were tearing me for it. I, I don't know. I can't say I'm going to comment chopper gunners on Black Ops. Um, but I know there's certain maps where it's just like, I'm just going to go with something else. Um, this is good. Um, the buildings, when you look from this angle, oh, and the art from here looks incredible. Very industrial and cold feeling. And uh, the buildings feel very spaced out. And they get caught on the street and there. Boop. And I just killed the last one. Um, overall, uh, B -B -B Berlin Wall. Very good map. Uh, impressive. And Combat Train still has that. Bug where when you watch the final kill cam you can't see any red things. Just making it look pro as if you were using it without that. Alright guys, that's all for my first impressions on Berlin Wall. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.